Welcome back to the second video of this ITB engine building series. In the previous video we stripped down the stock bottom end and we cleaned it. And in this video we'll be using that same bottom end and prep it for my ITB build. So we will be honing the cylinders and uh, clean the deck to make sure it's ready for a new head gasket. But first we're gonna be sandblasting and painting the engine. So uh, let's get started. Welcome to another day of working on this engine. Just finished off sandblasting. Didn't actually film it because it was quite hectic with this uh, heavy block inside the sandblaster But as you can see it's looking perfect It's all down to the bare metal again so We're gonna hit it with primer now And uh, some matte black paint after that Should be looking like new again So while the paint is drying, I'm gonna take a quick look over the specs for the bottom end. So uh, we will be using the stock pistons here. The, these are stock pistons out of a 1.6 NA Miata, out of the, one, uh, the 115 horsepower Miatas. Um, yeah, these are actually fine, just gonna use these to keep the cuts down and we're gonna raise the compression by skimming the head. And I found a really nice trick which, uh, which comes in handy to open the compression. We'll show you that later. So uh, we will be using max speeding rods. It's the first time I've used them actually. Haven't heard bad things about them. I know they are Chinese, but I, I'm just gonna try them and uh, we'll see if it's a big, big mistake or not. But uh, I guess it will be fine. For the piston rings, we're gonna be using stock piston rings. Uh, yeah, nothing fancy about that. Just gonna change the gaps, but for the rest, nothing fancy. Uh, stock crank, sandblasted this already, new, need a new seal for that, have to order a few more parts uh, that will be sandblasted as well, this thing will, be need, will need to be cleaned, uh, yeah, so like I said I will need to order a few more parts, we'll need some bearings, just uh, regular stuff for engine rebuild, but this is basically gonna be it for the bottom end. So there's the engine. All painted up, looking very clean again. I will need to take off this before I put the gaskets on. I'm just gonna use a, like a paint scrape thing to scrape this off. Uh, this tape can actually go off now. But it's satisfying to take this off. Gonna see now if it's clean inside. Normally it should be. Try my best to close everything off with tape before sandblasting. But definitely some some of it find their way inside and it's not that that big of a problem because I will still resurface the deck or the machine shop will do it so it will be uh, full of metal shavings anyway so we're gonna give it a clean again and yeah, like I said there's some sand inside mm. that's not so nice but like I said no problem so I took all the tape off and some sand definitely found its way into the engine uh, so I definitely have to clean it very very good because imagine some sand going through the oil journals into the bearings or elsewhere whatever it's gonna destroy the engine so there we go block is sand blasted and painted looking like new again ready for honing the cylinders and resurfacing the deck uh, I was actually planning on bringing it to the machine shop to resurface the deck by machine, but after measuring it, it seems to be very, very, very flat, so it doesn't really need machining, it just needs a good clean, and yeah, it's just gonna make sure it's proper, proper cleaned, and uh, should give us a very good seal with the head gasket, so let's go ahead and do that. So. I will be using this 360 grit uh, waterproof sandpaper and this piece of MDF. 
gonna wrap it around like this and then uh, gonna send the, the deck with this should work pretty good okay so there we go doesn't look the nicest with the duct tape on there but we don't care I'm gonna put some multi spray on there as lubrication and then uh, we're ready to go So that's what the finished deck looks like. To be honest, I'm pretty impressed with how it turned out. Um, yeah. I'm very impressed, it's basically like a resurfaced deck but yeah of course there are some spots like this couldn't get away of this completely but uh, yeah, it's not even noticeable with, the, with your fingernails so I'm not worrying uh, that it won't seal so I'm pretty impressed I'm gonna measure it after uh, after honing the cylinders but I'm, I'm pretty pretty sure it didn't get warped by doing this as long as you keep uh, sending in circular motions and I'm pretty sure it shouldn't hurt so uh, yeah that's what it looks like so for honing the cylinders I will we'll be using one of those and uh, you use these in a drill and it's basically a do-it-yourself way of honing the cylinders you just use your regular drill and then put this in it send it down like this and it's basically just sending down your pour so it's not it hasn't uh, doesn't have anything to do with making your cylinder round like a normal honing machine will do at the machine shop it's basically just sending it and making it ready for new rings uh, so when your cylinder is out of round or tapered you shouldn't use one of these um, but for this it works pretty good these cylinders are I already measured them before they are perfectly within spec basically as good as they came out of the factory and as you can see the honing marks are still in there I just wanna wanna hone them again since I put new rings in it so um, we'll be cleaning the cylinders put some oil on it put some oil on here and then uh, we're ready to hone the cylinders I like to put some kind of an old carpet under the engine because it's, uh, it's a pretty messy job so this way you won't uh, spill oil all over your floor like that it's a bit too much maybe but there we go So as you can see I'm moving up and down quite a bit and I'm searching a bit for the, the perfect speed. That's basically basically to get the, the, the perfect 45 degree cross edge in there, like uh, stock honing marks would be as well. So you have to find uh, the right speed and the right uh, speed for the up and down and uh, that's basically how you get the perfect honing mark. So yesterday I finished owning the cylinders, 
I did a second pass after the first one and it was basically enough to get it uh, where it needs to be. As you can see, quite a nice finish, nice angle on the on the cross hatch. All the carbon build up on the edge here is gone. Scuffing marks are gone. Ready for new rings. Looking pretty good. And actually take this old oil filter off. This was, this was on there for the sandblasting and painting. Just for, to keep all the sand out and the paint. So basically the bottom end is finished now. The, the block itself. The only thing I need to do is clean everything in really well because I want to be sure, want to be very sure that there's no sand left in there from sandblasting or any other dirt. It is looking pretty, pretty clean, but I'm just gonna blow it out with some air. Shouldn't be that special, so I probably won't filming it, won't be filming it. But uh, yeah, we can continue on assembling the rods and pistons.